So first thing you need to do is pick a paint color and there's thousands to choose from so I would definitely suggest trying out a paint sample first. You want to actually try that out in the room where you're painting because paint color can look so different depending on the lighting condition. Now once you've picked your paint color, you want to think about the type of paint and the finish. With Benjamin Moore Natura, we have a flat finish, which is great for ceilings and can also be used for walls. There's also an eggshell finish if you want a little bit more sheen and a little bit more washability. And then there's a semi-gloss, which is perfect for trim and doors and anything that you need more durability for, for furniture perhaps. Pick your finish, you have a lot of tools you're going to need as well. Very important that you have a good quality paint roller. A 3 8 inch pile of nap is perfect for either the eggshell or the flat. You want to make sure it's good quality so that the nap doesn't actually pull off into your finished paint job. We're also going to need a good brush. Two and a half inch angle sash is what I prefer. It's easier for cutting in and doing all the edging. Good quality painter's tape is ideal. You don't want to be removing any of that fresh paint if you have a higher tack um, or a low quality painter's tape. An edger is a really great idea if you don't want to use tape just to make sure you get a nice straight line. You'll also need a paint can opener and of course a tray and tray liners. So if you get a few tray liners that'll save you from having to clean out your tray in between different color applications. It's important to think about the sequence of painting. It's a good idea to start from the top and work your way down. So if you don't have crown molding, definitely start with the ceiling. We have crown molding, so I'm going to do all the trim, including the crown molding and the baseboards first. This allows you to be a little bit messier with your paint color because you can feather that out onto the wall. And then when we cut in, we'll be able to get a nice straight line. Now to move on to the ceiling, you want to cut around the crown molding all around the perimeter of the ceiling with your brush. And once you've gone the whole way around the room, it's time to start rolling it in. In order to avoid too much paint dripping, you want to make sure you roll the excess paint off in the tray and just reapply when necessary. Once the ceiling and trim are painted, it's time to start with the wall. Same process, just cut around the edges of the baseboard, the edges of your crown molding, and then roll in. While it's a benefit that the paint dries quickly, because you can get two coats done in one day, you do want to work fairly fast when you're rolling. So when you go back to reload, make sure that your previous stroke stays wet so that you can work wet into wet. And if you do have to stop at some point, make sure you do that at the corner. Paint color is the easiest and least expensive way to update your room. So once you get those painting basics down, you're ready to transform any space.